All right, welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am here during the off week of the UFC to talk to you guys about random shit. This first video here is about Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar has announced his retirement. He's retiring next month, November 12th, at UFC 281 in MSG. And it's perfect. You know, uh, I guess perfect would be a, a fight that you know he's going to win instead of one he's expected to lose. But I still think this is the way a fighter should go out with, you know, a, a crowd cheering his name, chanting his name, invested very much in his fight, even though it's not the most high-profile fight. And it's a fight that, again, the veteran should lose and a star should be made from this one. And that's Chris Gutierrez. That's what should happen on paper. Frankie gets the fight and his part of the deal is if he beats Chris Gutierrez, he stuffs the UFC's prospect. And he gets all the glory and goes out with the crowd at MSG chanting his name or Rudy or whatever the fuck. He gets that moment. And I just love it. I mean, you know, especially again in the wake of that Jose Aldo retirement where he was stuffed up against the cage for 15 minutes against Marab Dwalish Willie and then walked away and said like two months later or two weeks later, oh yeah, by the way, that was it. Yeah, I'm done. See ya. This is the way it should be done, with the crowd chanting Frankie's name, and it could all come crashing down. You know, Gutierrez isn't the most uh, violent fighter out there. He's not the you know best finisher, even though his last fight was a violent finish. The real exception to his resume is spinning elbow inside the UFC, anyway. And Frankie, look, he's been knocked out plenty of times. It could very easily happen here. I'm not blind to the fact that his chin is probably compromised despite him only getting knocked out by killers but frankie only fights killers you know his night off is a grind a five round grind against pedro munoz a fucking war fight of the year contender or whatever that's the idea of a don't quote me on that probably wasn't fight of the year but there was a real five round struggle and that's that's one of the easier nights on frankie edgar's resume as of late so there are no easy nights and, you know, why should this be any different? He's going to come into this uh, probably a sizable favorite, which gives you an idea how I think. Uh, not that I think Chris Gutierrez will win, but I do think he should be favored. The matchup, you know, requires more studying before I come down on one side or the other. But still, very appropriate for Frankie. You know, either he gets all the glory and he gets the moment, or he gives Chris, Chris Gutierrez a boost. You know, up to the next plateau where Chris Gutierrez with a win over Frankie Edgar. I don't know which level he reaches. Maybe headlining fight night events. Maybe whatever. But generally, he's one step up on the ladder to the title. No doubt about it. And his career will uh, prosper or flourish or whatever. It will do better. He will do better after he's in the cage with Frankie Edgar. And, of course, maybe not if he loses. If he loses then he loses a lot there. And, you know, he can still get back there, but he's never going to get that victory back over Frankie Edgar. So there's a lot to lose for him here. But uh, Frankie Edgar, you know, there's really nothing to lose. He he could lose this fight. Like I said, he probably will be expected to lose this fight. And if he doesn't get knocked out, of course, he's going to be in the fight. He probably will be winning. He's a very, you know, I mean, you, you guys know Frankie. He's... He's always looking good. He's, he only hasn't looked good when he's been knocked dead. So Frankie Edgar, if he's fighting, he's going to look good. And that's going to be good for the crowd. The crowd's going to be behind him. It should be an exciting fight regardless of how it ends and what happens. But if it all goes well for Frankie Edgar, it'll be even a magical mo uh, moment, magical night. So great matchup. You know, uh, I think... Chael Sonnen said, and could have been someone else, you should only, every fighter should go out, you know, out of his career, go out on his back, staring up at the lights or whatever. And that's generally how it goes. Uh, Frankie Edgar certainly knows that's a possibility here, but this is a winnable fight for him. It's a very appropriate matchup. He's going to have to work hard and protect himself and uh, mind his P's and Q's and fight the perfect fight, but it's a winnable fight for him. Uh, Chris Gutierrez... If he steps up in any big way and gets a big moment over Frankie, then again, once uh, the sadness wears off, it'll be 
cool to process that moment as well because uh, Chris Gutierrez is definitely one of the more underappreciated fighters in the UFC. Totally underappreciated. So, whatever. Those are my thoughts. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that or shit. And ring the bell with the notification. And this sh episode has been sponsored by Tropical Mango Vitamin Water. Don't forget to use the promo code MMA. 